Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis is an important tool in project risk analysis or project risk management. Sensitivity analysis is a financial model or a tool which will help you to identify how one variable is going to affect the other variable. Say for example, when we change the investment, what will happen to the net present value? Similarly, we can do it for sales or fixed cost or variable cost. Sensitivity analysis is also known as what if analysis and sensitivity analysis is used everywhere and especially it is used in to determine how the share prices of the public companies is going to change over a period of time or what will be the debt to equity ratio in an organization. So all these things can be performed using a sensitivity analysis. Now let's check in how to do the sensitivity analysis. Let's consider an example here. There is an organization called as Navin Flow Mill who is interested in setting up a new plant near Bangalore. Based on the previous experience, they have developed few key variables for this particular project. And this project has gotten three important range over here. One with the pessimistic situation, then the expected and the optimistic situation. In other words, we just want to see what will happen to the investment when it moves from 20 to 24,000 we are investing or other way 20 to 18,000 when we invest what will happen to the net present value. This is what we want to find out. So now what we will do is initially we will generate a cash flow statement for the expected scenario. Based on this scenario we will do the NPV calculation for a pessimistic scenario and then we will do NPV for an optimistic scenario. Now check into the sum. All the key variables are given in millions, beta investment, sales, variable cost and fixed cost. These are all given in millions. For our easy calculation, I'm going to take it in thousands and at a later stage, we can convert it. In order to calculate the net present value, I need all this information. Now what I'm going to do is, whatever the information that's available to us, I'm going to load these informations in the table. At the first level, we are going to talk about the expected scenario. So I'm going to take the investment, sales, variable cost percentage and the fixed cost percentage. Let's load this to the table now. Now that we have packed the respective information, let's go for the calculation. At the first level, I'm in need of a variable cost. In order to determine the variable cost, we are going to use a formula of sales into variable cost percentage. So sales is 18,000 into variable cost percentage is 66.67. This would eventually give us a value of 12,000. Let me pass on this information in the table. Whatever the information that is already available to us is denoted in rose color. The one which we are calculating, I'm using black color. So now that we have calculated the variable cost, at the next level, we need to calculate the depreciation. In order to calculate the depreciation, we are going to take investment, by project duration, investment is 20,000 divided by the project duration is 10 years over here. This would give us 2,000 rupee. I'm marking 2,000 in the table. So depreciation is done. At the next level, we need to calculate the pre-tax profit. For calculating pre-tax profit, we need sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost minus depreciation. Sales is here 18,000 minus variable cost is here 12,000 minus fixed cost is 1,000 minus depreciation is 2,000. This would eventually give us 3,000 rupee. We have calculated pre-tax profit. Let's move on to calculate the tax. For tax calculation, we are going to take pre-tax profit into tax rate. PTP is given here, it's 3000 into tax rate 33.33 percentage. This will eventually give us 1000 rupee. At the next level, let's calculate profit after tax. Profit after tax is calculated using pre-tax profit minus tax. Pre-tax profit is 3000 and the tax is 1000. 
this will give us 2000 at the next level let's calculate cash flow from operations this can be calculated with profit after tax plus depreciation so now the profit after tax is 2000 and depreciation is 2000 this will give us 4000 rupee 4000 in order to calculate the net present value we need discount rate and the project duration project duration is 10 years discount rate is 12 percentage let's calculate the npv using the annuity table i have gotten the table let's calculate the net present value we have seen the interest rate is 12 percentage which is over here and the project duration is and 10 years over here in order to reach out to this it's similar to a latitude and then we take out this value wherever the intersection we have that value we will consider to calculate the net present value we will use this following formula minus investment why minus investment investment is considered as a cash outflow so it is always an expenses for the organization along with the investment we are going to take cash flow from operations into present value of the annuity this would give us investment is 20,000 it's expressed in million for our convenience we have taken it in thousands minus 20,000 plus cash flow from operation is 4,000 into PVIFA value is 5.650 5.650 this would give us 22,600 and then we can see we have gotten 2600 the net percent value of this particular project at the given variable of 20,000 investment 66.67 variable cost sales of 18,000 and then fixed cost of 1000 you are going to have 2600 as the net percent value now let's change the investment to a pessimistic scenario and see what happens in the previous scenario we have done cash flow forecast for a expected and then we have changed it in this scenario we are going to change the investment of a pessimistic scenario and we are going to take sales variable cost and fixed cost of the expected scenario now there might be confusion regarding why should we be sticking to the expected value when we are calculating for a pessimistic scenario we just want to retain sales variable cost and fixed cost the same and we just want to vary the investment and what will be the impact of this investment on the net present value similarly we can do it for sales instead of 18,000 we can take 15,000 and the other variables let me show you how to do this for a pessimistic scenario the variable which we are changing I am denoting this in blue color the rest of the information that comes from the table sales is 18,000 variable cost is 66.67 percentage and the fixed cost is 1000 now at the first level we have to calculate the variable cost variable cost is calculated using sales into variable cost percentage sales is given here it's 18000 variable cost percentage is 66.67 this would give us 12000 let's pack this information in the table we can see from the expected and for the pessimistic scenario the variable cost remains the same there is no change and the sales also remains the same alongside the fixed cost also remains the same at the next level we have to calculate the depreciation depreciation can be calculated by investment by project duration investment is given here it's 24 and the project duration is 10 years this would give us 2400 i'm packing in 2400 in the table now with the change in investment there is a change in the depreciation that you can witness when it was 20000 we had a depreciation of 2000 and when we have varied the investment to 24000 then the depreciation has come to 2400 at the next level we have to calculate the pre-tax profit to calculate the pre-tax profit we need sales 
minus variable cost minus fixed cost minus depreciation sales is 18000 variable cost 12000 fixed cost 1000 and depreciation 2400 this would give us a result of 2600 now let's calculate the tax for calculating the tax we need to have ptp into tax rate ptp is given here 2600 into tax rate is 33.33 percentage this would give us 867 rupee at the next level let's calculate profit after tax this is calculated using pre-tax profit minus the tax pre-tax profit is 2600 minus the tax is 867 at the next level let's calculate cash flow from operations this is calculated using profit after tax plus depreciation profit after taxes 1733 plus depreciation of 2400 this would give us 4133 cash flow from operations is 4133 now let's calculate the npv for calculating the NPV, we will use this following formula minus investment plus cash flow from operations into present value annuity. Investment is 24,000. Cash flow from operations is 4133 into PVIFA. The project duration is 10 years and the discount rate is 12%. Project duration 10 years and discount rate is 12 percentage. This gives us 5.650. 5.650. This gives us a result of minus 649. Whenever we are arriving to a minus sum, we don't have to denote it in minus sign. We can always give this with a bracket. This is to indicate that we have gotten a negative cash flow with 20,000 investment we have a profit of 2600 and when we increase the investment to 24,000 we can see we are having a loss of 649 now you can see how sensitive our net percent value is when we change a key variable of investment of 24,000 Let's check in the NPV for an optimistic scenario. In the previous scenario, we have changed the investment and retained sales, variable cost and fixed cost of the expected scenario. In order to calculate the optimistic one, we are going to take only the investment of an optimistic one and retain sales, variable cost and fixed cost of the expected scenario. Let's change the variable of the optimistic. Investment is 18,000. Variable cost, we are going to retain the same. It's going to be 66.67 percentage. Sales, 18,000. Variable cost, 1,000. Variable cost is dependent on sales and variable cost percentage. So we have not changed anything. It remains the same. So we can take the same value over here, 12,000. Let's calculate the depreciation because there is a change in the investment. Depreciation is calculated by investment by project duration. Investment is 18,000 and the project duration is 10 years. 18,000 divided by 10 will give us 1,800. Let's pack this information over here. Next level, let's calculate the pre-tax profit. For calculating the pre-tax profit, we are going to take sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost minus depreciation. Sales is 18,000, variable cost 12,000, fixed cost 1,000 and depreciation 1,800. This will give us 3,200. Let's pack this information in the table. After completing the pre-tax profit, let's calculate the tax. To do this, we need pre-tax profit into the tax percentage. Pre-tax profit is 3200. Tax rate is 33.33 percentage. This will give us 1067. 
now we have to calculate profit after tax this is calculated with the help of ptp minus tax ptp is 3200 minus tax is 1067 this will give us 2133 profit after tax is 2133 let's calculate the cash flow from operations this can be calculated with the help of profit after tax plus depreciation profit after tax is 2133 plus depreciation of 1800 patent depreciation will give us 3933 let's calculate the npv npv can be calculated with the following formula minus investment plus cash flow from operations into pv ifa investment is 18000 cash flow from operation is 3933 into pv ifa value the project duration is 10 and the discount rate is 12 it has not changed for 10 year project with the 12 percent interest rate we have 5.650 5.650 3933 into 5.650 gives us 22,221. This gives us a net percent value of 4,221. Now, just have a look at this. When the investment is 18,000, the net percent value of the project is 4,221. And when it is increased to 24,000 for a pessimistic scenario, it gives us 649. And when it is 20,000, it gives us 2,600. Now, the crux of the whole problem is the more the money we invest in, lesser the net present value. Lesser the money we invest in, more the net present value. Similarly, you can keep all the variables the same and change one after the other variable. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more such videos. This is Karpakam signing off. Good day.